Um, I've got a question here saying, please elaborate on how you believe attraction is a choice. I don't necessarily think that attraction is a choice. Okay, so this is going to be maybe a little bit complex and I'm going to, I'll tell you a story. Let me tell you the story. I remember the first time that I looked at a man and I was attracted to them. I was in my third year varsity down in Cape Town. I was sitting in a Mexican restaurant called, oh, what was that Mexican restaurant called? It was somewhere in observatory and I'm with all of my straight guy friends in digs and this man walks into the restaurant and I'm like looking at him like, wow, that is a beautiful man. And that was really scary for me because like, no, 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 no. I'm not allowed to think that I'm not gay. I don't want to think that. And I couldn't take my eyes off him. Couldn't take my eyes off him. Like, no, 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 this is scary. And in that moment, while I'm attracted to that person, my decision is to not be attracted to that person. My decision is to choose otherwise, even though inside something else is saying something to me, right? Or something saying something else to me. I've often thought after I came out and kind of later into my adult life of being out that I could choose not to date men. I could choose to be straight, but that would be a choice that would be against what it is that I truly want. And I would make that choice to make my mom happy, to make my dad happy, to make some of the people around me happy, but it wouldn't be a choice for me. And again, I can kind of hide behind them and say, oh, I'm just not attracted to men. So it's not necessarily that attraction is a choice because I think there is a biology, but our decision to be attracted to somebody or not is totally, totally influenced by what we find safe, familiar, valuable, likable, and other societal factors as well.